investment that allows you to make a profit in the future. No matter if you're a photographer, a videographer, a surfer, there's always some sort of investment that you would have to make from time to time so that one day you can reach your goal. For me, this is definitely one of those big investments and damn, I really hope I don't crash this $3,000 drone into a tree. Anyway, I also got the drone uh, covered with an insurance, so I hope when shit goes down, that'll really help. I'm not here to talk about the specs of the drone or tell you guys how awesome this drone is. In this video, I'd rather talk about why I even got the DJI Mavic 3 in the first place. Not a lot of people on the internet seems to talk about the struggle that goes into buying gears these days. This is expensive and for me, this is a big investment. The question is, does it even worth the investment? See how these things are being marketed these days? It can seem like you have to get yourself the latest iPhone 13, the latest MacBook, or the latest drone, especially if you are watching all the big YouTubers uh, reviewing all the products right after their launch. I've made a huge update to this drone. Beautiful. You feel like you have to be a part of the hype, but um, don't get me wrong, that's totally fine as long as you know that what you're buying is good for you or your professional line of work. So just to give you guys an idea of how much I've invested over the last two years on my video production company, here are the equipments that I've invested on. First, there's my main camera, the Lumix S1H, the B-Cam Lumix S5, GoPro, DJI RS2, lenses, tripod, the camera cage, lighting setup, MacBook 16-inch M1 Max, a monitor for editing, and the Mavic 3. There are many more of these, but these are just some of the big investments, and in total, it's almost over $17,000 of investment. So before you buy anything, really, you have to ask yourself these questions. Number one, why do you need to make this investment? See, when it comes to video production, I try to buy myself the best equipments that I can afford. That means sometime I tend to break my bank to get the new cameras, the new drones, and etc. But in the long run, these things that I invest in um, ultimately helps me generate more revenue and lead to more potential projects and profits in the future. So if that's the same in your case, I would say this or anything that you're trying to invest in is a good choice. The second question is how long will it take you to make a return on investment? Marketing by all the brands these days tends to leave you with a sense of FOMO, at least to me. So that fear of missing out is perhaps making us, you know, chasing after all these shiny products. But it doesn't have to be like that. The decision is yours. No matter how much you're spending on the product, if you're taking one, two, or maybe three jobs to cover up for the money that you've spent, plus you're able to take a few more jobs to make a profit out of that, I would say kudos to you, go for it. And what I want to be able to do right now after I bought the Mavic 3 is be able to get more jobs and, you know, trying to make a return on investments and I figure I'd be transparent with you guys about it and share you my experience and my thoughts along the way. This is the crazy ride, uh, the crazy part of you know this journey of whole, doing whole video production. A lot of you may be saved up for, for the investment. A lot of you may be doing um, monthly installments to buy all of these products. And honestly, for, for what I do, Mavic Air 2S could have been a good choice, but I still went for the Mavic 3, hoping that I could provide more value with higher quality. And for that, I couldn't ask for a better drone than the Mavic 3 with the Micro Four Third, 360 degree sensor, and its amazing capability shooting in low light. That's a big improvement for, for me and what I'm trying to provide to my projects. On the other hand, if you're doing drone stuff for fun, um, DJI Mavic 3 could be overkill for a lot of people. Instead, I recommend going for the Mavic Mini SE, the Mavic 2, or if you have a higher budget, Mavic Air or Air 2S. Alright guys, I hope you guys can relate to this. Let me know in the comments below if you'd buy this drone. I'd like to know your opinion as well. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.